MyCase supports import and export functionality to help you move between practice management systems without interruption to your business. It's easy to use our simple spreadsheets to add the contacts and cases you need to begin running your business on MyCase immediately. This video will walk you through how to import your case information into MyCase using our Case Import Spreadsheet. You can download a copy of the Case Import Spreadsheet from our Knowledge Center by either clicking the Knowledge Center button on the top of your account or by going to help.mycase.com. Once you're in the Knowledge Center, you can search for Importing Cases, and this will pull up the step-by-step -step instructions and spreadsheet to get your cases into MyCase. You will be exporting your case information from your current solution, copy and pasting it into our case import spreadsheet, and then uploading that spreadsheet into my case. The first step is to export data from your current software solution. We recommend that you export the information into a CSV or spreadsheet format, as you will be copying that information into another spreadsheet file. Then you will want to copy exported data into the my case case import spreadsheet. Open the file that you just exported, and then also open the My Case Case Import Spreadsheet from our Knowledge Center. Now, copy and paste the information from the exported spreadsheet into the My Case Spreadsheet. Make sure that you are copying the data into the right columns. The first column that you will see is the case or matter name. Just enter the name of the case or matter that you would like to appear in My Case. This is the only required field in the database. The next column is number. Enter the case number that can be either a court assigned number or an internal ID number. The case number can be a combination of both letters, numbers, and special characters. This is an optional field. The next column is open dates. Enter the date that the case or matter was opened and created. The next column is practice area. Enter the practice area for the case and matter into this column, and MyCase will build a database of every practice area you have entered. You can then assign new cases to these practice areas as well. The next column is case description. Enter any notes that you'd like to file with the case. These notes are for internal purposes only and will never be shared with your clients or contacts outside of the firm. The next column is case closed. In the My Case system, cases can either be open or closed. If you are importing a case that you would like the file to be closed for, enter true in this column. The next column is closed date. If you marked a case as closed or true, you have the option of entering a closed date. This field is optional. Once you have copied over all of your cases and double checked that everything looks okay in the columns, it is now time to create a CSV export of the spreadsheet. Typically in programs like Microsoft Excel, you can click File, Save As, and choose an option to save and export the CSV file. Finally, you will import the spreadsheet into My Case. Log into My Case and click your name in the top right hand corner and go into Settings. Then in the gray submenu on the left, click Import Export, and then choose Court Cases and Matters. You'll see the option to import cases on the right. The import court cases window will appear. Use your file browser to find the CSV file you just saved and upload it into the system. My case will then create your cases and make them available for you to use. Don't forget that after you have imported all of your cases, they will still need to be linked to their appropriate contacts. My case also has instructions and a separate import spreadsheet for importing your contacts as well. As always, if you have any questions during the process or would like one-on-one -on -one help, we are here and available by phone at 1-800-571-8062 extension 1 or by email at support at mycase.com.